Right, this is a trendy new dish, pokey. It comes from Hawaii originally. I remember it having it in Hawaii a hundred years ago. I didn't think it was really nice. But it's now sort of the thing, isn't it? What I've got in there, first of all, I'm doing some rice to go with it. And what I've got in there is 40 grams of butter and oh, half of a small red onion chopped finely. And to that, I then add 200 grams of basmati rice. Now, don't wash it. You know how you normally wash rice when you cook it? In this instance, you don't. So we just toss that around until it gleams a bit, just so that it's covered in that butter mix. And to that, I then add 320 mils of water, some salt and pepper, grated zest, not too much, you know, just a little bit of lemon zest. I don't want the lemon to take over, but I do want it to give it a little bit of flavour. I'm also going to add decent sized tea. I was going to say decent sized bay leaf. That is a big bay leaf, isn't it? And as soon as that comes with the simmer, what I do is put the top on, put it in the oven 180 degrees for 15 minutes. Actually, there's restaurants now, and even in Melbourne, I noticed that all they do is pokey. So it's, it doesn't necessarily, I'm doing with tuna today, it doesn't have to be with tuna. You can do it with other fish, but I've seen it with teriyaki chicken and various other things. Right, come on, come on, come on, yep. We're in business there. Right, as I said, 15 minutes, 180 degrees. Now, the only thing that is very important is you have to have a tight fitting lid for that, otherwise you're in trouble. Right, now a sauce to go with it. I'm serving the sauce on the side. They often throw it through the whole thing and particularly through the fish. I, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me a bit. I think I would prefer to actually have the sauce on the side. But that's up to you guys, you can do what you like. Two or three spoons of soy. Japanese soy, I'll do three because they're only small spoons and it's equal quantities of everything, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Three tablespoons of mirin and three spoons of rice wine vinegar. So mirin, light soy and rice wine vinegar. And to that I then add a good splash or two of sesame oil and some fresh ginger which I have just cut in a julienne. Now, look, if your knife skills aren't that wonderful, just grate it. But this was some nice, fresh, young ginger, and I thought, oh, look, I'd cut it in julienne. Now, julienne is just thin strips. Let's have a taste. Yep, that's nice. Like that. What am I going to say to you? I'm going to say it's awful. <laughs> of course I'm not. Now, what I've got here, just have a look, wakami seaweed. Now I buy that from a Japanese shop and I soaked it in cold water for five minutes which means that it, it puffs up and then we just throw some of this mixture in and toss it around. Now that does need some flavour so that's what that sauce is for. Grab our bowl just to put this dipping sauce in because what I'm going to do is marinate my tuna in that. So I've just got some sashimi grade tuna, really top quality and there's a heck of a lot there. I think I've got a bit excited. And all I've done is just cut it neatly into cubes. And to that, we're then going to add some fresh lime juice and some olive oil and some seasonings. I tried this with sesame oil. I thought it took it over. You know, it's sort of just too much. So I've, I've gone back to the olive, but you certainly could use vegetable oil and some pepper. Now you do that pretty quickly uh, before you want it. You don't do it for hours before because what will happen is the lime will cook it. And it's, it's what I'm doing is a bit like ceviche. So I'm just putting it on fairly briefly. You can even see it's changing colour there. But don't, as I said, have it too much. And when our rice is ready, we'll start thinking of putting this together. All right, our 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look at our rice. Right, we're looking pretty good there. I know this is a bit of a mixture because I'm putting butter and I'm also putting some Japanese vinegar in it. So it's a, it's a real sort of Hewitson variation. So, so this is called sushi su. It's a, what, what do they call it? Sushi seasoning. 
So it's a vinegar and it's for use with sushi rice. But it just adds, I think, something special to this rice. And we just fluff it up a bit. Do you want to have, just have a look there, James? I, I think you'd be very impressed. Just grab a clean tea towel, put that on the top. Now this is just to soak up the extra steam to make it separate. Now, we've got a few things that are going to go with, first of all, there is some rosé, which I think will be beautiful with this. The tuna, of course, and we've got some green beans, which I've just blanched. We've got some butter beans, which I've just blanched. We've got some radishes, and we've got some double peeled broad beans. Just have a look at those. Now, I'll show you how to do those, because they're double peeled. So you start off with just a normal broad bean, just like that, see? So you've taken that out and then you peel it again and this is called double peeled and what happens is it comes out the inner and it's very very tender but just let me show you one other little thing you take that little seed out there and then you just blanch it very briefly just dunk it in water and it'll come out nice and green just like that and we'll just wait for five minutes and then we'll start serving the rice will be ready by then all right, five minutes is up. Now, I'll just have a taste of this because I might find that I need to add a little bit more of that vinegar. Mmm, just a smidgen. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful rice. Well done, Ian. Nice and separate. And there seems to be two thoughts about pokey. Some people feel that you always serve it with hot rice and some feel that it should be cold. I, I don't know, I like the hot, I have to be honest. Now the whole thing about pokey is, and I'm sure when you've had it, is it needs to be neat and tidy. So let's arrange it nice and neatly. Now the choice that you put in here, the things that you want to do, it's up to you really. Lots of people put avocado in. I'm not a great fan of avocado in pokey, I have to be honest. It's just me, it doesn't sort of do it for me. Always some pickle ginger. Some of these cucumber pickles, which I've shown you how to do. You just have a look up on YouTube and you'll find my cucumber pickles on there because they go beautifully with this. And of course the tuna. Now I tried the tuna before and I thought it was lovely, but I did think that maybe next time I would use peanut oil or actually any veggie oil. I thought the olive oil was a little bit strong. That's just me. And of course the tuna being the star of the show, you put plenty of that. All right, now you can see what I've done there. I've got some lovely things happening there. And I've also got some baby herbs here, which I will just scatter, not too many. And I've noticed something that I've missed out of that. I've missed out the wakame, haven't I? We'll just find a little bit of space over here. Here we go. Dipping sauce, rosé, and pokey.